dude, what the fuck? You just gonna break into my truck like that, man? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Can you suck my dick, Cat Night Joe? Okay. In the bathroom. Okay, give me your rendition. Well, I don't want to anymore. Yeah, you do. You got in my ass. No, you do. Know. Well, no, I'm gonna tell you about something else because no, tell I find about... this more interesting. I just took a shit. Okay. And as soon as I left the bathroom, my cat decided. My cat likes to drink the cat uh, drink the toilet water. But so right after I get done taking a shit, I literally like open up the door and he like passes by me, almost like almost as if he just went like sup and I didn't even just just walks past. said nothing. Yep. And drink your your shit water. He's about to drink my shit water. And Did you not flush? No, I flushed, but there's still it's still shit water. But so I stopped him. But yeah, you know, funny stuff. Boobs, boobs, boobs across all the land. I'm gonna keep doing this until you give me your rendition. Boobs, I want in my hand. What it was? It was a. Uh, it was. <laughs> I suck the dick of a thousand angels. And it all came in at a dozen angles. That was all it was. Bukaki, Bukaki, I love Bukaki. Sorry. <laughs> How do you say Bukaki? Bukaki. Put it up here. <laughs> uh, fatical. Fanatical. 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 Fo- fa- no, f- f- fanatical. Phonetic. Phonetic. Phonetical. 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 Phonetical, so medical. I just wanna get medical. Ooh, get a tentacle shoved up my ass. Oh, I'm so into tentacle shit, deeply. Would you? Would you fuck a snake? No. No. Would I fuck a hot anime? Bitch? Would you cuddle with a snake? No. Fuck no. No, like they fuck get snakes, they, they, they dude. humanoid snake. Does it? Is it? Is it thick with two C's? Yeah. Okay, ma- mm, nah, no, probably not. Still, actually, really? no. no. Fuck snakes. I think it'd be fuck really snakes. like really cozy. I I I'd, I'd sleep with a robot chick. You sleep with a robot chick? Yeah, like right. Sophia. Yeah. Fucking, whatever the lyrics go. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I think. Uh uh uh. uh. Lights off, she go dark. And then she pull the plug. Lights off, she go dark. Uh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh uh. Throw chips at her, make the neck go wah. <laughs> or so, I can't I can't think of lyrics Unless I like Think of like The actual melody If I don't mm-hmm. have the melody I can't you think can't of it the rest Yeah It's weird I'm a human Shazam But like I'm not a human one lamb You know like, I don't, I don't I'm <laughs> You not, can't just go off The top of the song Yeah I could just... tell you What it is But I can't be like Yo dude Check this out dude I don't have perfect pitch dude Drop it low <laughs> Drop it low 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 this is a quality podcast, I swear. Welcome back to In yeah. the Truck with AC. This is episode 15. Uh, it's we, crazy. Are we off track yet? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely. Def- I, think, I think we're on track to something good. We're usually, uh, we always start off on the fucking something tail good. end. Okay, well, I haven't done this shit. in a little while. How the hell are you doing? You've been around me for two days, so you know how the hell I'm doing. I know what you're talking about. I just want to ask how the hell are you doing, because okay. you don't talk to me. You keep it in the mentals, dog. That's fair. I'm, do- I'm doing okay. I'm a-, I'm a little stressed out. Like, I, w- I want you to tell me, like, when the other day when you said, God fucking dolphin sliders, I just really need to just, Adam, just give me a minute. I need to just take my dolphins. I need to go slide a little snoof, okay? It's, uh, I didn't ask, but, like, How's now, going? yeah, how, what does that mean? Does that mean you're doing all right? Does that mean you're a little stressed out? You just need a little bit of coffee in the morning? I'm, I'm or little... you need to do some hard drugs? I, I I don't really know. I would really like to... Well... What does what sliding some schnoof from dolphin sliders mean? So, sliders... Um, repeat that? So, you need to use your dolphin sliders to get some schnoof. Use my dolphin sliders to get some schnoof. So, if, if, if you're using the word correctly, schnoof, what I'm imagining is a little... Plastic capsule full of coke. Yes? I think that's a schnoof. Oh, you're, okay, fair enough. Now tell me what a schnoof is. Is it that same thing, but instead of cocaine, it's ketamine? I'm just making up things, so you can be whatever you want it to be. Well, I, that, I, I, I don't think it's anything. Well, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm, just, I'm just making off definitions. Oh, uh, I don't know. Is it ketamine in there? You tell me. I don't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, I'm asking, I heard you say you wanted to do some dolphin sliders with, to get some snoof. And I'm asking you, what does that mean? I, I, th- think, I, I think I was saying that more metaphorically than literally. But, like, I do need to get my dolphins in a, in a, in a bunch. I need to get them all. Need I need to get their snoofs ready. You need to get their snoots ready for some snoof? Yeah, I need to get some snoots ready for some snoof. They need to go, need to, they need a good cleaning on their snoots so that they can get that snoof. And if they if I don't clean their snoofs and they die from the schnoffs. So that's pretty rough, buddy. The schnoffs are very fatal. Schnoffs are pretty rough. Schnoffs are pretty rough, buddy. Welcome back to the track. How have you been? I eat pretzels in the morning. Oh. I have pretzels. You have pretzels? I want pretzels. No. Okay. It's no longer morning. It's like late morning. It's like eleven twenty one yeah. in the evening. I don't know what the hell you're talking is it, about. It's not, yeah. Eleven twenty one in the evening would be eleven PM. Yeah, it is. Damn. It's already been that long. After dark, babe. No, I don't know. Fucking we my my neon sign and my brain is hasn't been it's still warming up. So am I. So <laughs> no, that's fair. Same. I'm. I'm. I'm very low energy right now. Yeah. Can, obviously, everybody can tell. We we just woke up. Basically. What do you mean? No, we've been awake for six hours because we're hardworking fucking niblets. Yeah, we. <laughs> we're hardworking people. I'm very upset about myself this morning. Why? What'd you do? It was just the fact that I looked at my alarm. Oh, yeah. I got. I got time. Ten minutes. <laughs> I just want to yeah, I don't. Minutes. Yeah, I can't I, do that. I I woke up when you were like, ah, oh, fuck, we're late. Mm-hmm. We, we didn't even late. wake up with the ten more minutes part. No, no, you oh, no. I woke up to the phone call. Oh, okay. That's I, what I, I woke up to. I'm like, I woke up the first time. I'm like, oh, fuck. This means I can't go back to sleep because my favorite feeling in the world is waking up and be like, oh shit, I don't have to be up yet, mm-hmm. and going to bed more. That's what I wanted, and then I couldn't have that. And then yeah. I woke up with a headache and stressed out, and like, <laughs> ready to fucking. And here we are, it. down on energy drinks. Yeah, no, it's a. Uh, I fucking I, I genuinely hate that feeling when you wake up after, like, you wake up and you're fine. Like, I woke up when I originally woke up, I was fine, mm-hmm. clear head. Yeah. Slept for an extra forty minutes. I get up. You're what fucked fucking year fucked is up. it? Yeah, just drunk off your ass. Who the fuck drugged me in the so forty minutes? It, it, I have a very, very strong love-hate relationship with sleep Mm -hmm. because for me is I love the feeling of sleep. Sleeping just feels so good and I'm horrible if if I let myself, I can sleep for like 14 hours just because sleeping, being in a dream world feels good. Mm -hmm. If I spend too long in it, then just my mental feels bad because I'm just like, well, I slept a whole day away, whatever. But like, I like the feeling of sleeping. But I don't like having to do it because uh, every time I, I usually have to go to bed is when I'm the most awake and the most productive. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck, I need to go to bed like a normal person. But no, I got to go sleep. And then my sleeping schedule is all fucked. And then I'm just I'm just it's just I I wish I've, I've, I've said this for years. I don't know if I've said it on the podcast or the channel before, but I wish that um Life, how it worked was there was 24 hours of straight sunlight and then there was 24 hours of straight nighttime. Yep. That way I could sleep for, I could stay awake for like 24 hours and sleep for over 12 hours and it's not weird because then there's still nighttime still, to yeah. do stuff at night. Yep. You know? No, I could Like, because then how I would probably like schedule that is like get unless i had to do stuff a lot of stuff during the, the daytime do like 12 hours a daytime 12 hours a, a night to be awake like be awake for 24 hours and then sleep for 12 mm-hmm. i i think that'd be awesome now i wish our bodies do you think it's possible to train your body to in to like exist for 24 hours at a time and, yes and like not be tired yes because like we you could do it like we can easily do 24 hours but like after like you know, probably 16, 18 hours, you start to get really tired. Well, that, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. It's like, so you, like, you stay up for 16 hours, and then you sleep for eight hours. It's just you stay up for twice as long that you slept for. So I just imagine that as, okay, so now I'm staying awake for 24 hours, sleeping for 12, and then an extra 12, I can just do whatever the fuck I want with. Yeah. That extra 12 hours is just for me to enjoy. Right. And that I'm imagining a society that actually would run like that, and that'd be amazing in some sense, and... Watching it like, uh, 
don't know how to describe this. But so like you would have the night and day shift would actually be be almost yeah. Okay. But it'd almost be like a, there'd be two night shifts and two day shifts, and I find that that'd be really kind of interesting, just mm. because uh, you would have the twenty four hours of just nighttime, and there'd be a whole other crowd of people that'd be coming out. You right. would actually have the separation of people that enjoy the nighttime and enjoy the mm-hmm. daytime. You'd have people that just want to stay at night. You yeah. kind of have a vampire, so it'd be kind of it'd be kind of neat. I mean, you already kind of have that in a sense. <laughs> but like, well, I know there's 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 a uh place on earth there's a couple places on earth where it's like it's dark for like 20 hours of the day i'm pretty sure well i know what is it i know in alaska somewhere there's the where it hits the isn't um, it actually like 13 days of or yeah something like that? it's just darkness but then it, isn't it 13 days of light too yep is that actually how that works yes though? that is actually how that works because you just watch the sun go like you'll see it come up on the horizon and you'll see it go to the top and you'll see it come back down and then just barely hit the edge and then it just won't go under. Really? Yep. I Yeah, I, I've never actually... I want to go there. Same. I would like to go there for that month or two that they have that going on. Okay. Um. Damn. What's the... Even though residents of Barrow, Alaska, won't... The northernmost town in Alaska won't see the sun for 67 days come winter... They enjoy the midnight sun all summer over 80 days of in- uninterrupted daylight. That's way longer than I thought it was. Jesus Christ. So they won't see the sun for <clears throat> more than two months in the wintertime, but in the summer, it's 80 days of sunlight. That's like a third of the year. That's six months. That's half. Jesus Christ. Half. What the fuck? It's like they're living on an alien planet. I guess the sun travels in a slanting 360 degree circle in the sky. So even if it's below the horizon, it's barely below it for a long period. This means that even though the sun is invisible, we still receive very bright twilight that can last for hours or until the sun rises again. Huh. So it gets a little darker, but it, it pretty much what you were saying is like it doesn't it quite right go down. Then yeah, it, then it goes back up. I want to go like visit that. I, w- I want to be there for... Like that amount of time. Do you think they got a bustle in nightlife, or do you think it's oh, just boring I, oil town? I bet it's fucking awesome. You think it is? That's what I would. Because uh, like, I've always they imagined have to be living in, on that. They have to be like they have to have some type of ritual around that. Oh, imagine the fucking the solar energy you can produce. Oh, there. well, how many days was it that they'd have daylight, and how many days of darkness? Darkness sixty seven days, daylight eighty days. So they should have more. That's day. six months of sunlight. Just fucking everybody has just, solar panels. Yeah, just, just solar panels charge. everywhere. Yeah, dude. That'd be awesome. That'd be crazy. Can we, can we want to start a community out there? I mean, I think there's already a community out there. I don't, Alaska, well, we just, Alaska, I've always like imagined as just like an oil driving like it entire state. Is, honestly, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think of Alaska as like, oh, there's a city, but I'm sure there is. There's got to be, right? Uh, well, I mean, the, I know there's like Anchorage and stuff. I don't think that's uh, the fucking. I don't think that's the capital. What the fuck's the capital of Alaska? I know this. One second. I don't want you to say it. Capital of Alaska. Yeah, there's no way I would have known that. Give me a minute. I I think I actually know this. The Do you? Capital of Alaska is... Uh... Oh, my God. It was the only one that I remembered when I was in elementary school. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Oh, Fuck. Oh, I know it. I know it. Do you? Yes. What does it start with? Capital of what? I'm pretty sure it starts with an A. It's Alaska. Capital of Alaska, Alaska. No. Uh, fuck. It's not Anchorage. No, it's not Anchorage. That's the only Alaska city I know, personally. It might start with an L. Apart from Barrow, it doesn't. No, it start, does it start with an A? No. No? <laughs> it doesn't start with either. What does it start with? J. I I have no idea. Yeah, maybe you didn't know it. What is the capital of Alaska? Juno is the capital. Juno, of Alaska. okay. Juno, but it's spelled weird. It's spelled J U N E A U. Okay. Juno. Uh, shout out to anyone that's living in Juno. And it's or, uh, named Juno. 
if there's anyone living in Barrow, Alaska, let us write in. What right. what is what is it like to have sixty seven days of darkness but eighty days of sunlight? Is it awesome? Do we what need is to the come, nightlife like? Yeah, do we need? What is the nightlife like? Or like, do you guys have solar panels everywhere? Should we come there for like an entire summer and just chill? When like, so the one thing I'm very curious about is like because I have to be a lot of ice fishing, and so Probably, yeah, something that I feel like would be really common is that you'd set up a shack on the ice. Wait, no, the the eighty days is during the summer. Yeah. Right? Okay, never mind then. I was going to say it'd be cool if like, it was just frozen over during the all the, the, just the entirety daylight. People just live on the ice. I mean, it might be. You never know. Just live on the ice and just fish, 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 and just fucking keep going. Just God. don't even stop. Yeah, no, I, I kind of enjoy that. Not really. my type of life. I don't like fishing. Yeah. Well, I just, it's like, a, I like grinding. Mm. So, like, that is like real life grinding. I See, if, if I want to grind, I'm going to go uh, play Ghost of Tsushima. That's fair. I don't like doing the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over. Drives me insane. I weirdly like monotony in some way. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just like there's there's like a rhythm to it once you like get yeah there's a rhythm to a process. I like a structure and I like a rhythm, but I don't like doing the exacts. Like imagine if you did your job, you do kind of the same thing, but you don't do it in the same way every yeah. time. Now imagine if every day you have to take the exact same footsteps, you have to spray it the exact same way, you have to do the exact same like literally you're doing the same task, mm-hmm. but normally you do it a little different every day. You spray a little here, you spray a little there. No, having to do the exact same, same. thing. Yeah. That I wouldn't like. Like, uh, I guess I kind of have it. Uh, I have it really plugged into my brain because I played a lot of RuneScape back in the day. So that that was all that was was mm. grinding, just grinding all the fucking time. Right. When you're getting your wood chopping up, you're going tree, 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 bank, tree, tree, tree. I mean, that's that's a little different though because it's it's fake. You can put that down at any time. True. Imagine if it was your everyday life. You had to do that. You had to go cut down trees every day because that's your that's your living. You need to do that. There's also a lot of bots you can set up just to fucking automate it for you. Right, so. you can't do that in real life. That's yeah. that's called having money and butlers and right. shit, you that, know? That's, that's called having robots. <laughs> that's, yeah, or being at the head of a company to where you don't work anymore, but they make you all the money. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. But, nah, I like doing something different. Like, yeah, I might be editing every day, but I'm editing different videos. Yeah, you're editing different videos. You're doing, different you're, content. You're learning more. You're, you're yeah. Just finding new styles and such as 100%. you're doing it. By the way, or we or we're working by doing this podcast, but it's it's yeah, it's two guys talking, but we're uh, we're having different conversations every time. True. I think I don't know. We Maybe. could be repeating ourselves Probably. every fucking podcast. But what? But, uh, something that uh, I wanted to say to you because I do really like and I love the aesthetic is the little Japanese shit that you have in the thumbnails. I do love that. Oh, for the uh, yeah, our, just the expressions like off the catch stuff. Yeah, yeah, I like manga. the uh, the I really love that shit. the what? Sorry, like the stuff you find in manga. Oh the yeah, expression is yeah, and like anime and stuff. I really like the the three lines. Mm-hmm. I, I I did it once and it just fit, and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna drag this over to this this other thumbnail. I did. I'm like, oh shit, it fits here too. I'm like, I guess this is our thing now. Yeah. See, now I, I would be totally fine with it if you just like one of the thumbnails, you just turn me into a straight anime girl. I could just turn you into an e boy. Yeah, do it. Fucking, I'd okay. be totally okay with it. But I'll do that. Be sick. All right. Kind of, I want someone to dress me up as an e-boy. Like, full-on e-boy. Why don't you dress up like an e-boy? Because I don't really know how. You, you, we talked about this Why the other day. Just dress like a dad. You could just dress less like a dad. More like an e-boy. I don't really know what I would have to do. But change. do you really want to be an e-boy? Who wants to be an e-boy? I kind of do want to be an e-boy. You want to be an e-boy? Yeah, a little I, bit. Honestly, There's, I, it's can, cool I, can, I can't see you as an e-boy. I, I could tell that you like stuff like that, but I can never see you actually straight up dressing as an e-boy. I don't think cutting I would, your hair short, yeah. fucking dyeing it in colors, wearing I very specific colors. Because you'd have to care about your clothes and your fashion if you want to be an e-boy. I have, which like, you just don't. No, I just don't give it. Yeah, shit. you you're not even wearing pants right now. I yeah no I usually do you know that black uh that black scarf thing that I have. Yeah, I love wrapping that around my waist with nothing else and just like free balling it. I thank you. That thing is amazing. <sighs> okay, I think we got something to talk about. What? So something uh, happened yesterday, last uh, last night. That is very detrimental to on the couch, and our channel and our thing in general. Um. The 10-minute power hour came back, 
Uh, and we were heavily inspired to create Off the Couch uh, in lieu <laughs> of the 10 Minute Power Hour. The 10 Minute Power Hours was gone for like two years. And we returned before them, but only for about three months. And we have Damn. probably maybe 300 views for all the videos total. And they got like 700,000 in their first video. <laughs> well, yeah, when we, when we watched it at the time, it was 400K. Yeah. 460 something K. Some, yeah, something like that. And um, it was a fantastic video. Yeah, it was, it was hilarious. Great. It was great. I'm glad it's also. Ba- I'm happy it's back. Thank you, Unis Honest, for having one more appearance in our lives. Oh my god! Yeah, they resurrected the dead. They dude. resurrected the. I dead. did not expect that. That dropped my jaw. I'm like, yeah. I was like, well, oh. at first I saw, I was like, oh yeah, Power Hour. Oh fuck, Power Hour. And then I noticed Mark and fucking. And, and then Ethan. it literally said featuring Unis Honest. I'm like, <gasps> yeah, that. It's, like, like, it's the oh fact that they branded it like that. If they, if it was just been like featuring Mark and Ethan, I was like, all right, whatever. But they yeah. said featuring Unis Unis Honest. Unis Honest. I'm like. Oh my god! They're the only people in the world that can say that. Yeah, featuring Unis Honest. I, uh, I almost feel like it. Um, like, now it makes me curious. When did they record that? Did they record it that? Definitely while... after. Way after. Okay, that. I don't... Way, look, Ethan has his tattoos. His oh, very yeah, first tattoo right. yep. was on the the ending live stream, and yep. he has like four additional ones. Mm-hmm. And he looked buff. They all looked buff. It was, Why are they it... all getting super fucking healthy? I... I'm jealous <laughs> because their lives are together True. and ours aren't because yeah. we're still at the beginning, baby. Come on, guys. Wait a minute. Get, get, get we're still at the time. beginning. Does that mean one of us is going to be replaced like John? I have genuinely had that fear <laughs> for so fucking really? long and I just have not spoken about it because I'm like, <laughs> once I speak about it, it's going to fucking happen. I'm like, actually, no, it already did happen. Yeah, it kind of did already <laughs> happen. Well, that's pretty soon. Uh, AC is on the couch with AC is weird. We gotta change it. That's too many. Uh, we don't like uh weird uh letter differences. So it's gonna be on the couch with A B pretty soon. Yeah, that is all. Uh, but yeah, congratulations, Game Grumps, on your mighty and uh amazing return to the ten minute power hour. Um, but this is um, <laughs> Wait, I, I said it on Twitter. Um. We would, uh, because Corey and I kept your seat warm for the past couple months, I know we didn't fully live up to it, but we tried, we tried to give people something. Uh, we are formally requesting an invitation. We would love to come check out your new set. It only seems fair. (laughs) Yeah, it only seems fair. Since we've been keeping them entertained while you were gone, you should should be thanking us. us. Yeah, you should come on to our show. Yeah, you should come on to our show. Like, come on. That was my idea, too. Yeah, and if you don't do anything about it. (laughs) You're kind of assholes, honestly. I mean, I mean, they are grumpy. They are grumpy. Pretty grumpy. But like, so I'd forgive them for that. I mean, just give them some eggs and bacon. Yeah, you know what? Eggs, ba- eggs eh, bacon. I like want. Bacon? I want Danny to make me waffles specifically. That's I want. Danny yeah, we'll to make wear- them eggs and bacon. But like, Danny's got to make the waffles. Danny's got to make the waffles in a maid outfit. It, yeah, that's what I want to see. Mm-hmm. In, see. In a maid outfit. Yep. And what does Aaron do? Uh, he uh he. He he screams. He's he he insults us in Japanese. He insults us in Japanese and insults the waffle to be its greatest. Yeah. Is he also wearing a maid outfit, or is he is he wearing? He's a, wearing a maid outfit with cat ears. No, he's just oh okay. Or is he just wrapped up in a tatami mat? Yeah. Just, <clears throat> just wrapped up in it. It's, it's yeah. It's it's literally just a box. It's like when you roll out of bed and take your bed with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a sight. You guys can put that on your next pillows. That You're welcome. Sick. Danny in a maid outfit and Aaron just in a bed. <laughs> just in a bed. Yeah. You don't even get to see Aaron. It's just like his eyes are peeking out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just wrapped up in a mat. <laughs> All you see is like the the little blonde streak. You see the hair. cat ears. The, the cat ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's All you see is the cat yeah. ears. But um we will be reaching out. So your people hit up our people. I e um we will message your people because you have people. We yeah. don't. I don't think you'll be messaging us, honestly. But we'll message them. Get our message. Come back. Yeah. Come on, man. I mean, we've legitimately been like trying to keep up in their place, right? Like, well, wait, that was. I actually tried to submit to their subreddit once. I'm like, hey, uh, uh, if if you're missing the power hour, like these guys are pretty good. And then some some dude responded is like, by these guys, I'm guessing you mean yourself. I'm like, well, well shut up, dude. Kind of. But yeah, like, but like, I don't think we're that great. But like, I, I think 
I just wanted a public a opinion. Decent, decent co- yeah, that's what feedback. I, I think we're, we're we were trying to do it in lieu of them and trying yeah. to. I know we're, we're not doing as great. it in honor of them, not yeah, because we're taking their place. Yeah, please. Except leave. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's it was honestly like a. Yeah, if you guys want to be awesome bit, and just give us the Grums channel, yeah, it was a bittersweet <laughs> response to yeah. to it, even though. I knew that we were never gonna beat we're, them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was never. A, it was never a challenge. It was really to beat goal them. to beat them. We we're just like, see if like, ooh, if like, we can come get, on, if we can take. It was mainly for a like, oh, can bit. we get the recognition? Yeah. Be like, oh, these guys are kind of like Power Hour before Power Hour comes back. Mm-hmm. No, Power came back and it was it was good. Good job, guys. In the most. I like the new set. The neon sign is cool. I thought we had one that was like 500 views. Did none of them get up off there? the couch? No, no, no. Damn. There's not even one that hit 100. I don't think. I don't, think, uh, I don't think so. I can check. God damn. Talk to me. It's just it's just so fucking upsetting. I so Game Grumps, we love you. And I highly like we we definitely do take a lot of inspiration from you and I'm really happy to see you back. But like you want to love us like a little bit. Just respect your elders. We've been doing this longer than you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, but no, it'd be, yeah, 59 views, 18 views, oof, 72 views, 81 views, 57, 88, uh, 51, 99, damn, Ooh. that's our first easy bake, uh, and then, yeah, that was our peak, because then it's 32, 32, then 60. Our peak is the first uh, easy, easy bake. bake, and that has 99. So, yeah, none of them have 100 views. Damn. And that, we added one of those last night. And we did add one of those last night. Well, did it count? Because we didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah, we only watched the ending of it. It might have counted, though. I don't know how the counting works on that. I, I don't, don't know. know. If it's like, uh, if it Because I've had to... it go up to, like, four views before just by me checking the link at when I upload it. Mm. But I do think that they filter through it and remove it sometimes, like remove a view or two. That makes sense. I don't quite know how it works. It's weird. Well, it's basically essentially like a fake view. Yeah. So it makes sense if they would cut that out, mm-hmm. if they would just completely like, no, you don't fucking get that. I, I do know that like um, if a, if a, like a YouTube channel subscribes, to, or if, if someone is subscribes to you, but the account isn't very active or if it's like brand new, they'll mm-hmm. just straight up remove that subscription oh. from you. And I think that's what happened to us a couple of times. I still can't tell what we're actually at or if we're going down or if it's still sitting. Cause like, what did I say last time you just checked? Well, it says 390, 1390. Mm. But when I actually go to the studio, it says 1395. Oh. So I don't I don't get it. So you just need five to ten more. Yeah. It's, it's annoying that we're not at 14. It was like we hit 14 we and hit we were it. so happy about it. We were at like 1450. Yeah. We? we were getting up there and then it just stopped and yeah. we stopped. And we stopped. And then, it, it stopped uh, because we stopped. Yeah. And then it just, we haven't been able to really recover from it. Our hiatus fucked us up. Yeah, but I mean, we needed it. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at the stuff we've come back with. We've been True. pretty consistent with it all. And we come back with more quality content. Oh, like, yeah, way, way, way higher way quality better. content. Because, I mean, our like, fucking listen to the podcast. Yeah, we got a podcast off the couch. Like, remember, all that shit started in January. Yeah. We never did any of that before. God damn. And it feels like we've been doing it for a long time. It feels yeah. like we genuinely have been doing it for almost a year, but mm-hmm. obviously we haven't. It's right. just so... It's fucking bizarre. Mm-hmm. Oh, I agree. What time are we at? 33. I got poop really badly, so we'll be right back after these sponsors. Do you hate it when your cat sneezes on you? Do you hate it when your cat is just coughing up a storm and he's doing that... <laughs> kind of gross thing that always happens after they either hit one of the two buttons either eat so fast that they throw up or eat so much that they throw up it's always one of the two it's never just eat normally so this amazing new product the cat blocker what it does is you put it onto your cat and it fits like a collar and it stays in front of their face and catches all of the garbage that comes out of their face and mouth and guess what? If you put in the into if you go to the website catblocker.com slash on the couch, 
you will end up getting 15% off on your brand new cat blocker. I highly recommend it. I've been using it for, I think, about four months now, and I have a cat named Patrick that is very sneezy and very throwy uppy. And guess what? Every day I collect at least two cups, two cups of fresh, organic, amazing GMO free throw up and snot. And I put that shit in my garden. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. And again, check out the, uh, go to the link, catblocker.com slash on the couch. Go to that, 15% off on your brand new cat blocker. All right, we're back from our sponsors. Thanks for uh, reading those sponsors. I had to take a mad poop. Yeah, no um, I think I need to go on a detox. Yeah, do you? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking, I'm like, man, like that was, that was. Was it a bad poop? Yeah, it was kind of a bad poop. No good. Uh, no good. No, do you say no good? No good. No bad soup. Bad soup. Bad soup. Um, That's just a bad soup. No, I am. I think I've mentioned it before on the podcast and just on the channel. I am horribly addicted to caffeine. Like, yes, you are. I'm like, I, I'll, I'll admit that. Like, I. Because like, I think I have a caffeine addiction just for like how much soda I drink, and then I started making the tea concoction. Mm. No, I see you drink soda, and I will literally watch you drink four nosses in a day. Yeah, it, it, and not it's even, even affect just, you. Well, it's not even just like the soda. Soda literally don't do yeah, anything soda doesn't for do me. Anything I don't drink for soda you. for caffeine. I you have for to flavor. drink an energy drink or coffee. Yeah, energy drink or coffee, <laughs> and like literally, I could feel like the rush of the caffeine on my body. Like I, I described it before in a previous podcast. I think it's like I'm tired. I could sleep more. I'm I'm awake, mm -hmm. but like. Um, I'm I'm like wired and it's kind of like like the wired energetic is literally just like a, a shitty paint job over the tiredness. Yeah. And it's going to wear off after a couple hours. It's going to start chipping away. You know, that's what caffeine is to me. It's like if you but, set up a computer to try to paint. Yeah, literally. Like, well, you know that caffeine is actually uh, it, it affects your body the exact same way in, way as uh, like shit like cocaine and meth do. It, that's how it interacts with your. It uses the exact same um oh, yes. I know it, uh, molecules or, or chemical. I know or, it blocks or, or, the part in your brain that allows a. Uh, oh fuck! I just watched a video on this like two weeks ago. Oh what what is it? It's basically just another molecule that will lodge in and mm -hmm. to tell you that you're tired. Right. But so caffeine will come in and even Actually, while it's like still it, even it, while it that molecule it. is still blocking, yeah. it'll just knock it out and go in and right. just take the place of well, it. Yeah, well, because literally I learned about it when I listened to a Stuff You Should Know podcast. Cocaine specifically affects your body the exact same way, the exact same method, the exact same like way it like what it does to your body. It's just cocaine is a lot heavier. It's more intense. Caffeine is way less intense. But like, like if you try to quit it, it's like shit like coke and stuff. You still have a very strong urge. Like as you start getting tired, it's more subtle. Like you get more tired, and you're like, oh, I just need to drink more coffee yeah. or whatever. But like if you actually think about quitting, you're like, huh. fuck. Like oh my god. Well, there's some days that I'm like, I wake up, I think I get enough sleep, and I'm like, yeah, I wake up perfectly awake, awake and everything. I'm like, yeah, I got a great amount of sleep. I'm like, I don't need caffeine today. I can skip today. And then fucking four hours later, by lunchtime, I'm sleeping in my fucking in my place. I'm just like, shit, I need caffeine. Mm. But I was just thinking, I'm like, man, I'm probably destroy my gut bio. Maybe I should just like take a week or something and just try to drink just water. I'm kind of curious if I can do that. Have you ever had... Just I'll like, drink, like, juice and shit, too, but no, I want to see if I can just drink water. Have you ever done a day where you didn't eat anything, only drank water? Probably, yeah. I gen I actually really enjoy doing that. I don't know why. Just I just I love that feeling mm. of, like, you just you just eat absolutely nothing. All you do is drink water. I've done this a couple of times. I don't do it, like, like regularly. I, yeah, I don't know if I've actually fully done it. I've, I've eaten very little and drank water because um, there was a time I... I cut soda out for a while and just drink you know but water like, and juice but when you have a gallon of water that's all you have and you fucking you're like god i'm hungry i don't I think i could do it if water. i'm hungry because it's, it's healthy to still eat well yeah but it, so the way i always thought of it is like well if i'm doing a detox i need to make sure everything is out of me everything see i'd rather just take the longevity instead of trying to be like all right i'm detoxing all right i, I can detox in a day so i can go back to my habits <laughs> well you that's know? not necessarily what i mean i don't mean like detoxing just to go back to your habits i mean more in the sense of like just for like oh my stomach is really fucked up i need to quick purge it i'd like well if your stomach's fucked up that that's different i can understand why yeah you wouldn't want to eat then 
No, it's just my bowels, my gut biome. I caffeine's probably not good for your poops, man. Probably not. Probably not. But like my stomach's just always fucked up. Well, so. coffee's a natural accident. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was a frappe we had earlier, if that was what did me in, but it might. I don't it, know. Well, I, I feel like there can't coffee. be enough real coffee in that. I don't even think I'm it sure is there real is. coffee. Real coffee's cheap. I'm sure I there's guess, real coffee. Yeah. Could just be real coffee syrup, but it's true. Still- Coffee. It's still coffee. From coffee it's syrup. actual still coffee beans. It's coffee flavoring with caffeine in it. So. Yeah. Well, I'm just that. I mean, there's definitely still like the bean. Yeah, the bean like, is like still re- remnants of, of the bean. Yeah. And the but bean, the bean would be in the poop. syrup. Yeah. And poops are nice. Poops are nice. Uh, I have a question. Or oh, actually, there's something I wanted to say. What what time are we at? Actually, uh, 46. But that's also including was it was it 10 poop. minutes or eight minutes or something? I'll just add like uh, yeah, it was about it was about an eight minute poop. Okay, good. Um, so fate. Tell me what you know about fate. Uh, like tell me your relationship with fate. Not like having faith. Just like no, just huh, fate. Just in like general. the universe. Like, yeah, like the way things work. Oh, I love this. I love that you fucking... I, I have like, I have a point, but I want to hear what your what your thoughts are. Like, something that I always find interesting about fate specifically, it's like, I'll, I'll put this into fate just because it seems like it happens to be enough times that I'm like, okay, I need to listen to that. And so, whenever I'm having, like, a hard time or, like, uh, I'm going through a lot of emotional turmoil, and I'll be listening... Emotional to- damage! I'll go and uh, listen to just my playlist on Spotify, just listen to my music and just let it go. And uh, occasionally I'll listen to a song that I haven't listened to in a very long time. And I just, I won't skip any songs. I'll just let it go. But that song will come on and I'll be like, fuck. It just plays. That is exactly what I needed to hear right now. That's fate. When you hear like a saying that you're like, like a good one is, uh, there's a song called Your Heart is a Muscle. And uh, that fucking, your heart is a muscle, size of your fist, keep on pumping and keep on fighting. I fucking love that. But I don't know the song, but I like the great, message. Great song. Your heart is a muscle, you gotta use it to get stronger. Right. Well, it's it's like a, it's really depressing song, but also very enlightening because it's like, yeah, people kill themselves, but that doesn't mean you have to. Did I ever show you the song uh, called Hello My Old Heart? I think so. It's I, a really depressed song. It's pretty much just like, like you're talking about, like it's like, hello, my old heart. How you've been? Like, like you've pretty much locked it. I locked it away. Like, I haven't, I haven't used yeah, you. you well, I haven't used you to like love anyone. I've just been built building this prison around you, you know, for so long. And it's like, well, it's talking about. No, you only get one heart, man. <laughs> it's it's not it's not old heart, new heart. It's it's I was hurt, so I locked away my heart, and I just ha- I've been heartless for so long. And I locked it up to protect it from hurting again. But in reality, it's it's a muscle. It just becomes fatigue if you don't exercise it. So then it's even harder and harder to come back to it. It's really deep. Hello, my old heart. It's a really good song. Um, I almost have times I've actually like paused and be like, yeah, listen to your heart is a muscle. Like, go to the separate song. Yeah, pause it and go listen to both of them right now. Yeah, they were fantastic songs. I really enjoyed them. Um, my, what I was talking about, Fate, is uh, you've said it to me before. I have the weirdest luck. It's strange. Um, but in particular, so I was, uh, before I came down um, or came, came over here to uh, do some hardcore work, <laughs> as we like to do. Um, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we get that bread. We get that ninja bread. Yeah, ninja bread. We gotta get that uh, wet toast. Ocean toast. Gotta get that ocean toast. It's just bread. <laughs> Thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I went to a game store that I uh, was pa- I was passing through a town that I don't usually go through. I saw a game store. I'm like, fuck. It looks like a cute little tiny t- a tiny game store. Um, I walk in and I was looking around. I'm like, okay, there's some cool stuff here. And then I got I get this was Saturday. This was literally like the other day. I I told you about it already. But um, so 
I was walking around, and then I get to the PS3, Xbox 360 second, section, and then I just, I, I do what I always do. I look for a very specific game that I've been looking for for my collection for a long time, like probably over at least a year, if not longer, uh, because I heard about it from the YouTuber Nick Robinson's video, um, What Would a Second Person Game Look Like, which is a fantastic video. Nick Robinson, love you. Come on our podcast, please. Um, I I want to see your McDonald's DSI. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that he had that. Apparently, someone else just found one. I guess I I didn't watch the video, but I saw a video uh, posted like a week or something ago. Someone found another one, which is pretty cool. Um, but no, he he. he I don't know. I don't know if he found. I didn't watch the video, so I don't know if he found the game, but he just found the DS. I think the game was the harder one to find. The, it's, like, it's just like, how many people were like... I want to play it. It seems fun. Welcome to McDonald's. Uh, we're gonna be, you're going to be training on register, and uh, here's a DS. What? Just go to the DS. You'll figure it out. Uh, we should play it. Because uh, Nick Robinson, he... He, he put it online. Yeah, he uploaded the ROM, yeah. Which is... Thank you. That's awesome. I love I love the archive. Uh, archiving that shit. Oh, don't get me talking about all my game collections and what I want to do with it. How do you mean? Like, just to find games online and stuff. Technically, that's illegal. So I'll tell you off air. Yeah, no, that's, that's not what I meant. But yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but like... Yeah, no, definitely don't use it. Yeah. Piracy, piracy's bad. Hmm? Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm, I don't know. Uh, no, video game archiving is very important, in my opinion. Um... So, I was looking for this very... Uh, the game is Driver San Francisco. Um, it was released on PC, uh, PS3, X, and, and, and Xbox 360. The reason why I look for that game is because, for some reason, I don't know why, a couple of years ago, Ubisoft decided to remove it from all of their digital stores. You cannot buy anywhere. I don't know if it was from, like, licensing from, like, songs or whatever or something, but they just swept the entire game under the rug, and apparently it was a pretty good game. Because I had the unique yeah. second... Yeah. Go watch the Nick Robinson video. Yeah, it's great. Very unique, uh, Gameplay. Concept. Yeah, concept. Yeah. Um, but you can't you can't find it anywhere. I mean, you can find plenty of copies on eBay. But like, mm, yeah, that's fun and all. But like, I love the hunt. Yeah. I'm addicted to the... like the. I think that's a good addiction. Apart from my caffeine. I like finding... I like supporting local game stores and like flea markets and people. And be like, if I can find a rare gem... Fuck yeah. It's even more of like a better feeling. Like when you find it in the wild, it was like, all right, if I want this rare thing, eBay, buy. All right, it'll be here in three days. Right. Whereas it's like, I can search, you know? I find it, it's yeah. So I looked through the Xbox 360 section. Uh, okay, Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball Z. And then it goes to like EA Sports. I'm like, ah, shit. Okay, the D's are over. They definitely don't have it. Fuck. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm not surprised. Like, I was hopeful, but like I didn't. Yeah, I expected that because I've almost never seen it. Um, because I've gone to actually, I've actually gone to multiple game stores over the past like year or so, and been like, "Hey, you have this in stock?" Like, no, we haven't seen it in a while. But like, do you want to be put on a, like a waiting list if, we, if it ever comes in? Yeah, man, sure, that'd be great. And then I just never heard back. I'm just like, all right, cool. I mean, either they forgot about me or they just never got a copy. I'm like, all right, cool, that's fine. Yeah, they never got a copy or they didn't write me down. Yeah, or they didn't give a single shit. Um, and then I walk over to the PS3 section, and I go through, and um, A's, B's, C's, D's, Driver, San Francisco. Whoa! I hello. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, that's I'd, wonderful. Yeah, mine was probably out for a little bit. That's fine. It was only for the end of it, so. Okay. Um. So I go uh, A's, B's, C's. D's driver San Francisco. <gasps> Holy sh! No, I literally I I passed it. Like I was I was skimming past. I went past it. I'm, and I, I had to double take. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and I went driver <gasps> San Francisco. I pulled it out. I'm like, no way! I literally like said that at like a decent volume in this tiny shop. I went, no way! <laughs> <laughs> And I, I was very awestruck. It was for the PS3, which wasn't ideal. I want to find it for the 360 mm -hmm. because it's it looks better. But to find it for the PS3 is awesome too because it's completing my collection. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck yeah. So obviously I bought it. And then literally yesterday, we were I was recording with you. I got a random phone call. Yep. 
uh, I didn't answer it, and it went to voicemail. I listened to the voicemail, and it was like, Hey, hey, this is uh, Yada Yada from Yada Yada. Uh, yeah, I just want to call you to let you know that uh, you were a while ago you were put on a waiting list for Driver San Francisco for the Xbox 360. Yeah, well, we actually just had the very first copy come in in over a year, which is crazy. Um, but you're the first on our waiting list, so you can give us a call back by the end of the day. I wonder uh, if and, you're the only and, uh, person on that waiting list. I don't know. Uh, he's like, give me a call back by the end of the day, Tuesday, and uh, we can reserve it for you, and you can pick it up. Otherwise, it'll uh, if you're not interested anymore, if you find another copy, that's fine too. Just don't respond, and we'll go to the next person. Uh, have a good day. And I was just like, literally yesterday, I yep. found the very first physical th- copy I've ever seen for PS3, and then literally the next fucking day, bro. Fate said, here's another fate one. Fate said, here's your 360 copy. What are the apps? What are the actual odds of that? Like I'm, I'm actually still blown away that that happened. That's I don't even know. literally ridiculous. I have like no within idea how you twelve even hours, probably. I don't even know that how happening. Figure out how the. I don't even know the like, equation you would do to like. That's get that's the ratio crazy. That. that is yeah. That's pretty. That's little like what if I never went to that one shop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. I would maybe I still would have gotten the call for the three sixty one. But that would have just been like, oh, cool. But like, it's oh the fact God. that I found the PS3 yeah. version the day before by happenstance. Yeah, the fact if I didn't, you- if I didn't impulse, impulsively put my hunger aside and decide to go to that shop for 15 minutes, mm-hmm. I would have never found it. But I did, and fate is weird, dude. It's it's crazy. Well, and you're a big collect. You want to collect every version of every game too. Yes. So it's the fact you went, oh, PS3 version, awesome. Now I can add this to my collection. Next day. Hey, we got another gem for you to put the right next to version, that gem. Bitch. Oh, and because I was on a waiting list, they gave me five dollars off. Nice. Yeah. It's really cool. it thirty bucks. Yeah, thirty bucks. So twenty-five. Nice. Well, no, they had it. They had it. They. I think that what they said is they had it listed for thirty-five. Oh, okay. And thirty, but maybe they'll give me. I don't, I'm literally gonna tell them that story when I go pick mm-hmm. it up, probably later tonight. Uh, I'm like, yo, you'll never believe this. <laughs> like, that's awesome. But um, what's uh some Cool random happenstance fate that has happened to you guys. Let us know in the comments. I think you're about to ask me that. And I was like, I don't think I have any. Uh, I, I knew you don't have any because you have a very uninteresting life. Yeah, but that's fine. That's be, that's because I give you all. I give all everybody the content. And exactly. The awesome you actually and gaps. have cool stories. Well, yeah. I just have fuck stories. And you just talk about your poop. Actually, no, I talk about my poop. Corey shit him stuff. The last episode. Anyways. Did we already talk about that? Yep. Yeah, I don't think we need to talk about me shitting myself. No, I was again. just bringing it up. Yeah, Go listen cool. to the last episode. Corey shit himself. Um. Yeah, if you want to check out that, oh yeah, sorry. You want to talk check about out. how we had Ludwig on the podcast? It went really bad, and he decided just to like. Oh, okay. You're talking about okay, yeah, yeah. We had him on for like 15 minutes. I, I think, I think, I think it was Ludwig. I don't think we got the right guy on actually. Well, I didn't remember I thought, him having like long blonde hair or wings. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know about that he either. Wings. You didn't see the giant black wings? He broke our fucking wall, dude. We gotta rebuild the drywall now. Is he like ethereal? And for some reason, I can't see him, but you can. N- no, we both saw him. He was in. He was right here. He had another mic. We were talking to him. It went fine, and then he got upset because you were the faster button masher, and and he just threw a fit. Well, maybe, but Lug- I don't think it was Ludwig. Lug- 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 Ludwig. I think it was Ludwig. Ludwig. Lud. Lug- Lug- Ludwig. Ludwig. What the fuck? Just try to say Ludwig and you'll fuck it up. Ludwig. Ludwig. Lug. Ludwig. 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 There you go. How do you say hieroglyphics? <laughs> Why is it that I hear that word and my brain is just like, how do you say that? How do you get those two how, noises? How do I together? say that word that I just heard? Hieroglyphics. Hi- Don't think about it. Just do it. Hier- Hieroglyphics. 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 Hydrodrifts. 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 Kaikaki. Carrot cake. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. Carrot cake. Okami now. Okinawa, Ladiderdam. Ladiderdam. I shit my pants. Ladiderdam. I fucking love that name. <laughs> Ladiderdam. Yeah. Ladiderdam. I just imagine a dude standing on like it'd be just like a farm. I imagine that being next to a farm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Ladiderdam, and I just have a farm of skunks, and it's a good time. I love playing fetch with my skunks. 
<laughs> what? You like playing f- playing fetch? I love playing fetch with my skunks back in later damn, you know, the fucking it's a good town. They got they got crows and c- crows and skunks. And well the skunks are mine, but crows and skunks Crows and, and a dam. That's why they call it later dam. But the dam only holds a later. So it's actually just a bottle. Cool. Cool. So you're gonna buy me a drink? <laughs> Alright, everybody. Um no, I won't buy you a drink, but um, though I think this is about time we end the podcast. Uh, 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 uh fuck you, L- Ludwig, L- Ludwig, come on our podcast. Bye. Bye.